Good morning. The 14B District Court is now in session. My name is Elaine Washington, and I'm the judge that will be presiding over this case. The court will call the cases of, or this docket, the court will call the cases of Kalish Krishnan. Case numbers 23W002155A, B, C, D, 23 w 2155 Yes. <clears throat> Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Your Honor, good morning, Your Honor, Mr. Barnett. Nick Lulcher I, on behalf of Mr. Krishnan on all those <laughs> matters, Your Honor. I waive reading. Um, he either uh, pleads not responsible or stands mute as to the criminal charges. Thank you. It looks like the only criminal charge that I see is the driving while license suspended. Your Honor, I think there's, I think there's a reckless. Yes. Yeah, and strangely, Your Honor, the reckless case is labeled as a ST, a state case, but I, I, that probably is an error because it, it appears is. to be the same. That is correct. It is from, well, let me look here. See how they wrote it to make sure. Yes, yeah, check with the township box. So it should be. Uh... And I, I think what me and Mr. Barnett, do you want to go ahead, Paul, and call the court? Yeah. Think about so um, what we'd like to do is get a, since they're written as a ticket, I don't have a copy of a police report. There's obviously a lot of of things involved in this uh, in this particular incident. So I would like to adjourn so we can get a hold of that police report. I can share that with Mr. Liljuri, and then we can hopefully come to a resolution. Thank That's you. Is, is Kalish Krishnan available? Yes, we're here. Please state your name, sir. Kailash Krishnan. Kailash, thank you. Um, and then uh, secondly, I have no problem with an adjournment, but we do need to do the arraignments first. Yeah. Um, Asked to get number 23W002155A, uh, which is the reckless driving. So, you haven't waived formal reading of the complaint. I do have to advise you of the maximum penalties. Um, reckless driving is a misdemeanor and it carries a maximum penalty of. I believe it's 90 day and or up to $100 fine. Do you have that before you, Mr. Barnett? Because it's written that it's, as a ticket, it does not indicate on here. It is 93 days and or $500, Your Honor. And or a $500 fine plus court costs, sir. And then as to the driving while license suspended, that is also a misdemeanor carrying a maximum penalty of 93 days and or a $500 fine plus court costs. Do you understand those, sir? Yes, I do. All right. And I will, as your attorney has indicated, um, enter a not guilty plea on your behalf and schedule these for a uh, an adjourned pretrial. How long were you both thinking for the pretrial? What are you thinking, Paul? I'd say, you know, 30 days, maybe. Okay. I'm, fine. I'm fine with that, Your Honor, if the court's fine with that. That actually works out. Um, that's about where we are anyway. So August 2nd. Oh, Your Honor, I have a conflict that they do. Can you do it August 9th? Is the court available? Or? No, we're not here on August 9th. The next date would be the August 16th date. Uh, if that's okay with Mr. Barnett and the court, that's what I would be requesting. Yeah, that's fine with, with the township. All right, thank you. Thank you both. Then I'll adjourn these to August 16th, 2023 at 9 a.m. as to bond. Your Honor, I would just ask for a PR bond. Yeah, no objection to a personal recognizance. Mm -hmm. PR bond with standard conditions um, and as to the misdemeanor start, which means that you cannot leave the state of Michigan without permission of the court. There's no use of alcohol, marijuana, or any other illegal drugs. Um, you must not engage in any assaultive or threatening behavior with anyone. 
You are not allowed to have any weapons at this time until further order of this court. Do you understand those orders, sir? Yes, I do. All right. Um, has your client signed an advice of rights? Your Honor, I don't know if he has, but what I'll do is I'll have him, I'll walk him to the website. Uh, I'll do that with him to make sure that gets done. Please do. In the meantime, sir, I'm going to uh, uh, give you the basic rights. Um, you must uh, understand that you have a right to have a trial by a jury, at which time uh, six people can decide whether or not you committed this offense. You have the right to hear, see, and question any and all witnesses called by uh, the prosecution against you. You have the right to get an order signed by me to require any witnesses that you would like to uh, attend the court hearing and testify on your behalf as well. You have the right to testify yourself or you could choose to remain silent. If you chose to remain silent, the prosecutor could not comment on that. You also have the right to be presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand those rights, sir? Yes, I do. All right, thank you. And then in that case, I'll see you back here on August 16th, 2023 at 9 a.m. Thank you very much, Your Honor. You take Thank care. You. Take care, Mr. Burke. You Burn. too. Yeah, you too. So we'll call the case of uh, Torque Investments, LLC, 23T11834. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Good morning, Your Honor. Johnson France on behalf of the defendant, Torque Investments. Good morning, sir. Your All Honor, right. I believe the, la the last time we were here, I, I had an opportunity to speak with Mr. Good regarding the, uh, the infractions. I believe there was a blight along with some other things. Um, if I can have a breakout room with, with Mr. Gooden to have this further discussions with them regarding the sure. updates. I'm not sure if we need that, Your Honor. Sorry, I apologize, Counsel. Uh, I no worries. My understanding, Mr. Gooden is here too, he can correct me, is that the um, most of the violations were corrected and that we can work, you can work with zoning to get the rest of it resolved. So at this point, we're going to dismiss the ticket. Yeah, that works for us, Your Honor. All right, thank you. The ticket is now dismissed. Have a good day. Thank you for showing Thank up you. Good. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Are there others you're here on, Mr. Gooden? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Uh, Publiski and that would and uh, Beal Properties. I think Publiski is not until 11. 11. Okay. And Bill is at 10. So you can sign out and maybe sign back in if you like. Okay. Or can hang out here with us, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank Your Honor. You. You're welcome. The court will call the case of uh, Richard Jefferson, 22W004775. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Um, I'm in jail, so there wasn't in here, so I just unmuted myself. <laughs> Thank you for informing us, sir. Um, let's have your attorney place their appearance on the record first, okay? Yes, ma'am. Jeremy Flaws on behalf of Mr. Jefferson, student attorney, requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Chinaza Ikiri Akin Ruley. Permission is granted. Now, sir, if you could please state your name, Mr. Jefferson. Richard Charles Jefferson. Thank you. All right, uh, we're here on this driving while license suspended pretrial today. That is correct, Your Honor. Uh, I did sp speak to Mr. Jefferson in a breakout room, and he would like to 
plea to the offer of no operators on person, if that is still the offer from the prosecutor? Uh, that is indeed still the offer. Uh, we would have him plead guilty to that added count and we would dismiss the original charge. Thank you. I'm writing it out. All right, sir, it's my understanding you're going to plead guilty to a charge of no operator's license on a person. He's already got his hands raised. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, stuff you got? Yes. All right, thank you. You may lower your hand. All right, sir, it's my understanding you're pleading to this charge of no operator's license on person in exchange the more serious offense of driving while license suspended will be dismissed. Is that your agreement? Yes. All right. I'm going to go over some rights you have, but you're going to be giving up by entering into this plea. Please stop me if you have any questions or if you feel like with your attorney, okay? Okay. You have the right to have a trial by a jury. At this time, you can call witnesses and speak for you. You can get an order signed by me to require that they come to court. You have the right to see, hear, and question any and all witnesses that are called against you. And you have the right to be a witness for yourself, or you can choose to remain silent. If you did choose to remain silent, the prosecutor could not comment on that. You also have the right to be presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Do you understand those rights, sir? Yes, ma'am. You understand you're going to be giving up all those rights, and you're not going to be having a trial of any sort. Yes, ma'am. Do you also understand there's no automatic right to appeal this decision? So the decision you're making in all likelihood is going to stick with you. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Do you also understand, sir, that if you're on probation, parole, or bond at the time that you committed this offense, then you could be in violation of that parole, uh, probation or parole. Yes, were, you on, were you on any of those? No, no, ma'am. I'm actually getting off. That's why I'm in jail right now. They want me to do 30 days. I see. Fully finished my probation, so that's why I'm here. Okay. Um, do you, um, are you, if you're not a U.S. citizen, you could have immigration consequences. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. All right. So, to the charge of no operator's license on person, how do you plead? Yes, ma'am. Anyone promise you anything other than what we place on the record today to get your plea guilty? No. no anyone, anyone threatening you in any way, shape, or form? No, ma'am. All right, so on uh, the date of uh, September 22nd, 2022, were you operating a motor vehicle in the vicinity of Nash and Mary Catherine here in Ypsilanti Township, sir? Yes, ma'am. And at the time, were you, uh, was your license uh, suspended or revoked? Yes, ma'am. All right, I find that there's a factual basis for the plea. It has been willingly and knowingly made. Are you satisfied, Mr. Barnett? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, thank you. Mr. Floss. Yes, Your Honor. Can we go move our request in immediate sentencing? No, that is correct. And how um, how many uh, days does he have uh, credit for already? I believe it's three three or four days. Mr. Jefferson, have you been there since Saturday or Friday? I've been here since Saturday. I, I got to be here until the 25th of July. Anything anybody wants to say on behalf of um, this case before I set this up? Um, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I could barely hear you. Uh, Is there anything you want to say before I sentence your client? Yeah, we are asking to waive fines and costs for time served, Your Honor. Thank you. Anything from you, Mr. Jefferson? No, ma'am. All right. All right. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to sentence you to 30 days, Washington County Jail. Credit for the five days you served. So would that change my out day? No, you said you were getting 30 days, right? So I'll still get out on the 25th? That is the goal, sir. You know, actually, I wanted to say one thing. You know, you uh, you sent this my uh, kid's mother to uh, to um, inpatient treatment, Kyra Moody. Who? Oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was okay. real bad. So now we're both in here. <laughs> wow, but I'm, I'm getting out of trouble. I'm getting out of trouble. I'm getting out of trouble. Okay, that's good. And your your kids, um, I'm sure they need you. This is probably very rough for, for them. So, All right. yeah, right now they're with my mom. Okay. Um, so 30 days in the Washington County Jail credit for the five days you're ser you've served. Um, if if somehow that doesn't align, um, please let us know. 
long with the time he's. I'm not trying to hold him. Long. Okay. Price and cost of wage. You are set, sir. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ypsilanti Township versus Dustin Brown, case number 18T00700. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Davi Lee before Ms. Braun. Mr. Braun, could you please state your name? You're muted, sir. Please unmute your device and then state your name. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Dustin Braun. Thank you. Good morning, sir. We're here today on the violation of probation. Yes, Your Honor, we'll be Correct. pleading guilty to the violation. All right, thank you. Mr. Braun, you understand you have a right to have a hearing in this matter. At which time, if it is found or if it is you admit to the violation, you could be subjected to the original maximum penalties. You understand that, sir? Yes, Your Honor. I understand you wish to waive your right to have that hearing and admit to the violation. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you swear uh -huh. that the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. All right, please, you may lower your hand. I'm gonna, so in this particular case, it, um, it says that you failed to report. Is that true? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's not, no words are coming out. Is that can true, you hear sir? Me now? Is that better? I can hear you now. Is that true, sir? Yes, that's correct. And you failed to pay your fines and costs? Yes, that's correct. Failed to complete the jail work program? Correct, yes. Failed to provide proof of the 12 step meetings? Yes, correct. Failed to complete the outpatient treatment? Correct, yes. Failed to complete the yes. impact panel? I did complete the victim impact panel, but I never turned in my certification so I'm, and I okay. lost it, so I have to redo that. All right, so I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna change that to fail to uh, provide proof of completion. So you fail to provide proof of completion and you fail the drug test is ordered, is that correct, sir? Correct. All right. I find that there's a knowing and willing admission to the violation. Are you satisfied, Mr. Barnett? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Lieber. Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. As to sentencing, have you had an opportunity to review the recommendation with your client? I have, Your Honor. We are asking the court to accept the recommendation. Mr. Barnett? I don't uh, have a problem with the recommendation either. <laughs> Anything you want to say before sentencing, sir? Uh, what exactly was the recommendation again? Would I know that? 30 days uh, uh, to get into compliance with uh, the probation. Oh, yep. If not, yep, the if not, the recommendation is going to be for jail time and rev revocation of your probation. I'm going to set a review date in 30 days. That is All the right. same. Also. All right, I will see you back here, sir. On um, <clears throat> August 16th, 2023 at 10 o'clock, you should be in compliance by that time, sir, or the recommendation is going to be that you will do jail time and will revoke your probation. So get it taken care of, okay? All right, thank you, Your Honor. You know how to call the probation department, sir? I'm sorry, say that again, please. Can you hear me again? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, I know. Yep. Okay, all right. Thank you, sir. Take care. Thank you. Have a nice day, Your Honor. You too.
Ypsilanti Township versus William Holbrook Brown, 23T00101. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Uh, Jeff Schramick on behalf of Mr. Holbrook Brown, who is present as well today via Zoom. Uh, Mr. Brown, uh, could you state your name and turn on your video? Uh, yes. My name is William Brown, William Hover Brown. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, yeah. We have for a pre-trial today. Yes, Your Honor. What are we doing? I don't know if I need a, a, a breakout room uh, with Ms. Barnett to just discuss with him. I, it's um, so just so the offer was um, to amend and add account two of operating while visibly impaired. Right. The complication is, is that I've, I've contacted. Mr. Schremmett, unfortunately, we don't do the negotiations on the record here. You have to contact. It, it, it's not a judge. I'm, I'm sorry. Still talking. It, Oh, you have to either uh, com communicate with him uh, via um, the chat feature there or request an adjournment so you can talk to him offline, sir. Okay, it's a discovery issue, Your Honor. So I'll just request offline. Okay. An adjournment or an adjournment, either one, whichever the court would prefer. It's up to you. I, I can pass it and come back to it or I'm going to suggest just a brief adjournment if we could and then we'll, I can make sure that I, we're on the same page with the discovery instruction. if that works for you that that does uh, and I've, I've provided all my contact information to your office so there should be no problem I, I don't think getting a hold of me uh, yeah between okay. now and the next court date that sounds good all right, August 2nd, 2023 at um, 9 a.m. And Bond will continue. Okay, thank you. Does that work with your calendar, sir? Yes, I just pulled up my calendar August 2nd at 9 a.m. Yes, sir. That, that, uh, that seems to work for now. Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, thank you, too. Ypsilanti Township versus Boss Wright, case number 23T00274. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. This is Mo Defender Davi Liba for Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright, could you please state your name? Grace Wright. Grace. Thank you, sir. Sorry about that. No worries. We're here for pre trial today. Yes, Your Honor, we'll be requesting an adjournment to receive to receive the video discovery in this matter. No objection. That's already been requested, so it shouldn't be a lengthy time. Thank you. August 2nd, 2023 at 9 a.m. Bond will continue. Oh, okay. Thank you. We'll see you then, Mr. Wright, okay? Thank you. Have a good day. Um, the individual with the name that says Zoom user only, I think he's there with uh, with a loved one who has a yellow shirt. Can you please unmute and tell us your first and last name? Rebecca McCree. All right. We will put you on a list of cases to be called. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Ypsilanti Township versus Marcus Snyder, case number 23W000550. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Good morning, Your Honor. Emma Kluge, student attorney on behalf of Mr. Snyder and requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Dobby Lebo. Permission is granted. Thank you. Mr. Snyder, can you please state your name? Marcus Snyder, please unmute your device and state your name. Is he still here? He, he was here earlier. Our office spoke with him. I don't see yeah, him. Yeah, has signed out. Okay. I'll pass this. I believe he's in the waiting room, Your Honor. That's what he said to me, so. There's no, there's no one in the waiting room right now, Mr. Floss, but thank you. Thank you. Ypsilanti Township versus Rashad Shafee, case number 22W00. 
4902. Paul Barnett on behalf of the town sir. Jeremy Foss, student attorney on behalf of Mr. Shafi, requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Davi LeBeau. Permission is granted. Mr. Shafi, please state yes. your name. Uh, Rashad Shafi. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Shafi. All right, we're here for a pre-trial on this drug one license suspended. Mr. Shafi is revoked. That is correct, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Schaff, you would like to accept the plea of no operators on person, if that is still the offer from the prosecutor. <laughs> that is still the offer, Your Honor. Thank you. Let me write that. Mr. Schaff, if you would please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you swear or affirm? That the testimony about the provider will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, have a God. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You may lower your hand. So, is it true that you intend to plead guilty to no operator's license on person? That is a misdemeanor carrying a maximum penalty of up to 90 days and or $100 fine. In exchange for that plea, count one, the more serious offense would be dismissed. Is that your understanding of the agreement? Yes, ma'am. Is that what you want to do? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to go over some rights that you have that you're going to be giving up by entering into this plea. Please stop me if you have any questions or if you feel like you need to speak with your attorney again. Okay. All right. You have the right to have a trial by a jury at which time you can call witnesses to speak for you. You can get an order signed by me to require that those witnesses come to court. You have the right to be a witness for yourself or you could choose to remain silent. If you chose to remain silent, the prosecutor could not comment on it. You have the right to also be presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand those rights, sir? Yes, ma'am. You understand you're gonna be giving up all those rights and you're not gonna be having a trial of any sort? Correct. And also, yes. sir, do you understand um, that by entering into this plea in all likelihood, it is going to stick with you because there's no automatic right to appeal? Yes, ma'am. And in addition, if you're not a US citizen, this could have immigration consequences or you're a US citizen? Yeah. And if you were on probation, parole, or bond, you could be in violation of those. Were you on any of those? No, ma'am. All right. Having said all that, sir, to the charge of no operator's license on person, how do you plead? Uh, guilty. Anyone promise you anything other than what we placed on the record today? Um, well, I was, uh, from what I understand, the, the agreement was um, no jail time, but I didn't realize it was 90 days involved. You know what I mean? Like, so. I don't know. I guess I'm not clear on, you know, the plea bargain. Uh, I'm kind of freaking out right now. Like, you know, that's I, okay. Let me let me calm you down just a little bit. So first okay. of all, there's no agreement as to what your sentence is going to be. But I can tell you that in all uh, that in most cases, I do a fines and costs. I don't do I don't okay jail. Uh, most cases, but that could change. But I don't see any reason why that would be different for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, all as well. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Anyone may anyone threaten you in any way, shape, or form to get you to keep No, ma'am. All right. Having said that, to the charge of no uh, no operator's license or person, how do you plead, sir? Uh, guilty. All right. Uh, <clears throat> on or about September 30th, 2022, will you operate in a motor vehicle in the vicinity of Goss Side and Woodside in Epsilon Township, sir? Yes, ma'am. And at the time, was your license spoke the revit? I'm sorry. Yeah. Revoked right. or suspended. I added two words together. Uh, so yeah. spoke. That's a new one. But um, <laughs> revoked at the time. Is that correct? Correct. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> I find that there's a factual basis for the plea. It is willingly and only made. Are you satisfied, Mr. Barnett? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Thank you. As well, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. And I presume we want immediate sentencing? That's okay. correct. All right. Any um, thing anyone wants to say on behalf of Mr. Shafi before I sentence him? Yes. Um, for fines and costs, he will likely be able to pay on July, I think, at the end of the week. If that's correct, Mr. Shafi. Uh, it just depends how much it is. I just started working, so um, but I'll be able to pay it as soon as possible, whatever. Like if it's a hundred dollars or whatever, I'll 
I'll knock it out right away. Right when I get my check. Yes. Yeah, that is not the more than that, sir. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Fines and costs in this particular case for a total of three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Okay. Um, I maybe we need two weeks. I can pay some this week and the rest next week. All right. What I'm gonna do, sir, is give you to the end of the month to get this taken care of. Pay by July twenty-eighth. Okay. Okay. All right. Please have it paid by then, sir. If not, then what happens is a 20% penalty is added. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Count one is just now. Yep. Thank you. All right. You are set, sir. Have a good day. You too, ma'am. Have a great day. Ypsilanti Township versus Timothy Palmer, case number 22W000956. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Emma Klug, student attorney on behalf of Mr. Palmer, requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Dobby Lebo. Permission is granted. Thank you. Mr. Palmer, can you please state your name? Timothy Palmer. Good morning, Mr. Palmer. How you doing? Good, I haven't seen you in a while. That's probably yes. good for you, huh? So, yeah, a little somewhat. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, we're here on this uh, driving my license suspended pretrial. Yes. Yes, yes Your Honor. Uh, in this case, Mr. Palmer would like to um, plead to the no ops on person if that offer still stands. It is still open, Your Honor. All right. Well, I need to write it up. All right, Mr. Palmer, it's my understanding you're going to be pleading guilty to the added count two of no operator's license on person. That is a misdemeanor carrying a maximum penalty of 90 days, up to 90 days, and or $100 fine plus court costs. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. In exchange for that plea, then count uh, one, the driving while license suspended, the most serious offense would be dismissed. Is that your understanding of the agreement? Yes. And that's what you want to do? Yes, ma'am. Please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony about the provider will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. Thank you. You may lower your hand. And we'll go over some rights you have that you're going to be giving up by entering into this plea. Please stop me if you have any questions or if you feel like you need to speak with your attorney, okay? Yes. You have the right to have a trial by a jury at which time um, you can call witnesses to speak for you. You can get an order signed by this court to require that they come to court. You have the right to see, hear, and question any and all witnesses that are called against you and to be a witness for yourself, or you could choose to remain silent. If you did choose to remain silent, the prosecutor could not comment on that. In addition to that, sir, you have the right to be presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand all those rights? Yes, ma'am. You understand you're going to be giving up all those rights by entering into this plea, and you're not going to be having a trial of any sort. Yes, ma'am. You also understand, sir, that... Um, if you enter into this plea, there's no automatic right to appeal this decision and all likelihood is going to stick with you. You understand that? Yes. You also understand that um, if you're on probation, parole, or bond, it could be a violation of that. Were you on any of those? Yes. You were on some to me? Yes. All right. And so, uh, and you've had an adequate opportunity to speak with your attorneys regarding this matter? And yes. you want to with the plea? Yes. All right. And in addition to that, sir, um, if you're not a U.S. citizen, you have immigration consequences. You are a U.S. citizen, though, correct? Right? Yes. And to the charge of uh, no operator's license on person, how do you plead? Guilty. Do you want to promise you anything other than what we placed on the record to get you to plead guilty today? No. Do you want to threaten you in any way, shape, or form? No. All right. On uh, February twenty third of two thousand and twenty two, were you on? Um, were you operating a motor vehicle in the vicinity of North Miami and Forest Ave here in Ypsilanti Township, sir? Yes. And at the time you were operating that motor vehicle, were your license revoked or suspended? Yes. All right. I find that there's a factual basis for the plea has been willingly and knowingly made. Are you satisfied, Mr. Barnett? Yes, sir. 
Miss Cloak. Yes, satisfied, Your Honor. All right. Ask the Senate thing. I presume you want immediate sentencing. Yes, please. Any objection, Mr. Barnett? No objection to immediate sentencing. All right. Anything anybody want to say on behalf of Mr. Palmer? No, Your Honor. Or from the township? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Palmer, anything you want to say before I send this to you, sir? No. Mm -hmm. Fines and costs in this particular case, $375. Can you pay that today? I don't know. I wanted to get on the payment plan. How much can you pay per month on what day? Um, on the 14th, I can pay $50 because I get paid every two weeks. $50 on the 14th of each month. I'll do a review in this case for October 4th, 2023 at 10 a.m. to see if you have actually uh, been making your payments, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, count one is dismissed. You're all set, have a good day. Me too. Thank you. Ypsilanti Township versus Terry Williams. Case number 22. E zero 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 nine eight A and Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. This is Boeing Center David Lebo on behalf of Mr. Williams. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Could you please state your name, sir? Yes, Terry Williams. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Morning. All right, we're here on um, a pretrial for expired plates and for values that within a, a clear, clear distance for a ticket. The failure to stop is up in the state of um, uh, show cause right now for failure to pay. He's suspended. Yes, Your Honor, we would ask for an adjournment on that that or review later on as Mr. Williams is currently in custody and unable to pay. How long is he going to be in custody for? Mr. Williams, do you know when your outdate is? I don't. Are you, uh, what are you, what stage are you in? Excuse me? What stage of the process are you in on whatever's holding you, sir? Do you know? Uh, um, they adjourned my prelim, so I'll go back for my prelim on the 25th. Okay. Thank you. That's what I needed to know. All right. I'm going to set this out to September the 6th at um, 9 a.m. to see where you are. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put them both over to that day. We'll Thank see you. What you're doing then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bond is continued. Mr. Um, Todd? Mr. Freeman? No, the voice oh. is here in her attorney. It's just, you know, but that is her turn. It's just like her. Yeah. Miss Funk? Can you unmute for one moment, please, ma'am? Yeah. Hello? Hi. Is Joseph Wagner still your attorney? Uh, yes. Okay. You should probably reach out to him to see if you can get him to come sign in. We can't call your case until he does. 
Okay. Okay, so I, it's adjourned till I get with him. I never said that, ma'am. I just said. Oh, you I'm. I'm in a. I'm having a hard time hearing you. I have to get with my attorney. I said you need to call him right now so you can see if you get him to come into the courtroom. Okay, because he told me he really didn't need to be with me. Well, that's not true. You need to call okay. him like I just said. Okay. I will do that right away, and then we go into the courtroom. You're in the courtroom, but yes, you need to call him right now and come back to have your case oh. called. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ypsilanti Township versus Kastan Dubose, case number 23T00028. <clears throat> Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Dodger Lieb on behalf of Mr. Dubose. Mr. Dubose, could you please state your name for the record? Austin Dubose. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. Your Honor, we'll be requesting a brief adjournment in this matter to review some discovery, which I received earlier this morning. No objection. Thank you. This case will be adjourned to uh, August 2nd, 2023 at 9 a.m. Bond will continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Is there a way that I can set up my phone number so I can get those text alerts because my number changed? Yes, you can call out to the clerk's office out front and they'll change that for you, okay? Okay, thank you. Your Honor, welcome. I also wanted to verify some of this matter regarding Mr. Dubose's license. He believes this case is holding his license from being renewed, and I just wanted to verify that in order for that to occur, all he has to do is pay the clearance fee from the bench warrant. Well, Molly, I don't have a driver's license for everyone. It's only in specific cases. It'll take me a moment to get a, get that information, Mr. Lebo. Certainly, Your Honor. Thank you. That is correct. You just need to pay the clearance fee, $45. He should be able to get his license back or at least a 62G, 625G permit. I can't say which. That would be up to the Secretary of State. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll see you Thank all. you. You're welcome, sir. I'll see you all back here on August 2nd. I am indicating that in the file that he can pay his clearance fee. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Ypsilanti Township versus Rebecca McCree, case number 23W002170. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Dodger Lebo on behalf of Ms. McCree. Ms. McCree, could you please unmute your state, unmute and state your name? You're still muted, ma'am. Uh, Rebecca McCree, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Ms. McCree. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. All right, we are here on a uh, dog nuisance ticket. He's a puppy, Your Honor. My, he's being trained McCree, as a McCree, dog. Ms. McCree, could you just, uh, yeah. could you just please hang on a moment? Your Honor, I, we did not receive discovery in this matter until about an hour ago, and therefore we'll be asking for a brief adjournment to review that. Thank you. No objection. Thank you. August 2nd, 2023 at 9 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay, 
Ypsilanti Township versus Bill Properties, LLC, 23T116835. <clears throat> Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Good morning, Your Honor. Kristen Davis on behalf of Beale Properties, LLC. Good morning, Ms. Davis. We're here for an adjourned formal hearing. It's my understanding after speaking to Mr. Gooden that the property is now in compliance. So at this time, I'm moving to dismiss the ticket. Second. All right, this ticket will be dismissed. You're all set, Ms. Davis. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Right. Okay. State of Michigan versus um, Jason Bryant, 21 at 00753, as well as Ipanani Township versus Jason Bryant, 23W002228, as well as, I think that might be it. One moment. Oh, uh, 02S143435B. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. A and B. What the heck? This is both better Dr. Lee on behalf of Mr. Bryant. Thank Mr. you. Please state your name. Oh, please take your Mr. Bryant, please uh, state your name and put on a shirt. Uh, Jason Bryant. Thank you, sir. All right. In case number uh, 21S00753, which is a state case, um, we're here on a uh, show cause. A violation was requested for a number of things, failure to drug and alcohol screen, failure to enroll in anger management, failure to report to, report to probation for over 90 days, charged with domestic violence third, that apparently was dismissed already. So, we are left with uh, now a failure to new one for, oh, that was the old one. Now we're here with the failure to report for over one year, failure to pay fines and costs, and failure to drug and alcohol screen is ordered. I thought it was for a noise complaint. It says it right here on my... Mr. Br Mr. Bryant, that's your other case. My other case? How many cases I got? I just called four. Were you listening? I, whoa, I didn't know I wasn't. Um, can you say it again, please? All right, Mr. Bryant, you're here on case number 21S0074753. That particular case is for a violation of probation, and it is in... Um, I did my probation. No, you're in violation of your probation. That's why you're here. Oh, uh, I I know I was on probation. Mr. Uh, LeBeau, do you need to speak with your client so that he can get some understanding of what's going on right now? Because this is not going well for him. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. Please. Um, I'll, can we put him in with one of your interns? And if so, which one? Uh, certainly, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Flaws? Yeah, that works. All right, we're going to play you, Mr. Bryant. Please explain to him all of his cases as well as the reason why he, he, he's here on each of them. Lord Jesus. Court will call the case of Ypsilanti Township versus Charnay Rollins, case number 23T00130. Paul Barnett. Paul Barnett. Township. 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 Assistant. 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 
This is Public Center Job Uliba on behalf of Ms. Rollins. Ms. Rollins, could you please state your please name? State your name. Sharnay Rollins. Thank you. Your Honor, we have an agreement to a no contest plea in this matter, which I would ask Ms. Barnett to please put on the record. And Your Honor, we're going to amend the complaint, add account two of operating while intoxicated, the first offense, <clears throat> PAC code 257.6251-A. That is a 93-day, $100-$500 fine offense. In exchange for a plea of no contest to that added count two, the township would dismiss the original charge of the high BAC. All right, I'm just writing it up. All right, ma'am, it's my understanding that you're going to plead to the operating while intoxicated as a first. Ma'am, ma'am, as you would. Yes, you don't unmute. Okay. All right. Um, as I was indicating, operating while intoxicated is a misdemeanor. It carries a maximum penalty of 93 days and up to $500 fine plus court costs. In exchange for that plea, count one, the more serious offense would be dismissed. If you could unmute right now and tell me if that is your understanding of the agreement and whether that is what you intend to do. That is my understanding of the agreement, and that is what I intend to do. Thank you. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you guys. Yes. Thank you. You may lower your hand. I'm going to go over some rights that you have that you're going to be giving up by entering into this plea. Please stop me if you have any questions or if you feel like you need to speak with your attorney again, okay? Okay. You have the right to have a trial by a jury, at which time you can call witnesses to speak for you. You can get an order signed by this court to require that they come to court. You have the right to see, hear, and question any and all witnesses that are called against you. And you have the right to be a witness for yourself, or you could choose to remain silent. If you did choose to remain silent, the prosecutor could not comment on that. You also have the right to be presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand all those rights? Yes. Do you understand that you're going to be giving up all those rights and you're not going to be having a trial of any sort? Yes. Do you also understand that um, by entering into this plea, if you were on probation, uh, parole, or bond, you could be in violation of any or all of those? Were you on any of those? Probation. All right. And you've had an op adequate opportunity to speak with your attorney regarding that and the possible violation? No. Okay. All right, so it looks like we're not quite ready to take this plea if she doesn't understand that she could possibly be violated if she was on probation. Yes, Your Honor. Um, we just passed this matter briefly. Thank you. Do you want her to go on this clip while? Your Honor, I'm just going to see if I can resolve this via the chat function. Okay, thank you. The court will call the case of uh, Denina Combs. Case number is 23W002425, 22W003928A, B, and uh, 22W00149. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Emma Kluke, student attorney on behalf of Ms. Combs and requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Davi Lebo. Permission is granted. Ms. Combs, can you please state your name? Ma'am, you're on the phone. Oh, yes, you're on a phone call down there. You need to um, hit star and six to unmute your device. My name is Danina Combs. Thank you, Ms. Combs. All right, we're here for some pre-calls and some um, pre-hearing conferences, and it looks like even one pro cause, maybe. No, nope, pre-trials. Yes, Your Honor. Um, we're asking for an adjournment in this case. Ms. Combs is still working on filling out a packet from 14A to get her OWI set aside and then to get her license reinstated. 
Um, so she just needs some time to get to Secretary of State to prove that her registration was valid. So you're saying they're going to set aside a convict? Oh, you, they're doing one of those. Oh, I see what you mean. An expungement. I believe so. Those are the, yeah, those are the notes that I have. Okay. This is going to be the last adjournment. If, uh, I need to have some real proof that she's doing that to okay. adjourn this again after today. Understood, Mr. Your Honor. Mr. Barnett? Yeah, I don't object to it, Your Honor. That's fine. August 16th, 2023 at 9 a.m. We'll see you back here then, ma'am, okay? Okay, I appreciate it, thank you. You're welcome. Do I hang up now? Yes, you may, have a good day. Okay, all right, you too, thanks. Ypsilanti Township versus Luke Morrison, case number 23W002383. <laughs> Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Good morning, Your Honor. Stuart Collis on behalf of Mr. Morrison. Good morning, Mr. Collis. Oh, my goodness. You did it almost as well as I do. <laughs> All right, Mr. Morrison, would you please state your name? I don't believe he's here, Your Honor. This is a okay. traffic ticket. Uh, gotcha. Mr. Barnett uh, has offered me kindly the uh, plea of deal of uh, dismissing the one to five over for an impeding traffic, which my client will admit responsibility. And I have the authority to accept on his behalf to that plea of impeding traffic and will plea on his behalf. Okay. I'm writing it up. And counsel has correctly stated the plea offer. All right, you're uh, accepting responsibility on behalf of your client for August 1st, 2023, uh, driving um, Stony Creek and Bemis for impeding traffic. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. $180 fines and costs. Can that be paid today? Your Honor, if we could have two weeks, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Two weeks would put us at All right, July 21st. And you said that was 180 again, Your Honor, right? Oh, yeah. That is correct. All right. I'll see you this afternoon. Have a great day. See you this afternoon. Count one is dismissed. You have a great day as well. Ypsilanti Township versus Sean Thomas, case number 20T00569. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Us as both Senator Dr. Lee on behalf of Mr. Thomas, who I believe is attempting to have his device unmuted. Mr. Thomas, could you state your name? John Thomas. Thank you. We have a trial today. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. We are still seeking a global resolution in this matter and therefore will be requesting another brief adjournment. <clears throat> no objection. Pre-trial is adjourned August 2nd, 2023 at 9 a.m. Bond is continued. Thank you. All right, so we'll see you on market second. He does not seem happy about that. Did he know that this was being adjourned today, Mr. Lebo? 
Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Well, thank you. Ypsilanti Towns, yes. Chef versus Howard Smith, case number 22W000712. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. All right, Mr. Howard Smith, please state your name, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Howard Smith. Please state Howard, your name. Howard Smith. Thank you. Mr. Smith, have you ever had an attorney appointed to help you in this case? Um, no, I was, I just been at the magistrate for a couple adjournments. By a couple, you mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine adjournments. Yeah. And we're still revoked, so I'm not understanding what's happening. Well, I was in the process of getting, my, I was, I don't know, I was supposed to get my license back. I don't know, three, four years ago, but it was during um, COVID. So I had to wait and wait and it was backed up. And once I got, uh, my process started is when they brought the case up. So they kept postponing it to see what they was gonna do. Okay, well, I'm gonna appoint the PD's office to give you some legal advice around this matter and hopefully we can get this resolved at the next hearing. Okay, sir? Okay. Give me one moment. I have to fill out a form to make that happen. Like, am I, is it bad? Am I in trouble or? No, you're just revoked. And so it's not likely that you're going to be able to get your license back anytime soon. So at this point in time, we probably. Why, why you say that? Because you're revoked. Right. And my, my, uh, Day is September. Well, you can talk to an attorney about that, sir. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm like so confused. That's why an attorney might help you. One moment. It takes me a moment to get the form to. No problem. What date do you think is in September, sir? To to when I can reapply for state restatement. So I, to, to I can re appeal or whatever they call it. I think it's appeal yeah. to. Well, that's the first time you can actually file paperwork to to try to get your license back. And this is already way past any um, time frame that we would be given for adjournments. It's September. I, know I, heard, that. I heard you. Maybe. Oh, I thought you asked me when is the next time. Yeah, and then you answered me, and then I told you that's trash. that's the first time you can actually apply. Right. And that's a one year process, approximately. We're not we're not doing that. Oh, I mean, okay. So I'm saying I don't. I'm like I don't. Am I answering wrong or something? No, you're not. Your reality oh, okay. is just what it is. All right, I am uh, going to refer you over to the appointing authority. Um, I think I'm going to place you into a breakout room with mm -hmm. um, someone from the PD's office and they can get some contact information for, from you so that they can be able to contact you once the PD has been appointed on your case. Okay, sir? Okay. I'm going to adjourn this matter over to... What day in September is your appointment, sir? Or you I don't, don't have an appointment. You just have Sep a September 9th is the first day that I can submit my work.
We're here on September 13th. So if you do if you're doing that, if I submit my uh paperwork by then, will that that that'll be the best thing for me to do, right? It is definitely the best thing for you to do. Okay. All right. I am I'm going to be submitting this over to the PD's office. I'm gonna put you in a breakout room with them, bring you back here on September the 13th at 9 a.m. And then we'll go from there, okay? Okay, Miss Washington. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You as well. Yes, we're putting you in the breakout room right now. Don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. With uh, Miss Miss Cloak. Gibson Lady Township versus Irwin Walker, case number 22W00144. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Karen Falls, student attorney on behalf of Mr. Walker, requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Davi LeBeau. Please grant it. Um, Erwin Walker, could you please unmute state your name? Erwin Walker. You have to be seen on the screen, sir. You need lights. Apparently, you're in the dark. Yeah, my camera's not working, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, if your camera doesn't work, your next hearing, you have to come in person. Right, give me one second. He's revoked. That's correct. We're going to be asking for an adjournment, one last adjournment to uh, see if he can get scheduled for a hearing to have a revocation hearing. Um, he had one scheduled in April and it got canceled for some reason. Um, so that's what we're going to ask for today. Mr. Walker, I, I need to be able to see your face, sir. You're in court. Oh, he's putting on the shirt. All right, thank you, sir. You think that, so I'm, I guess I'm confused between April and now, why didn't he reschedule the appointment? You ask me or him? Either one of you. Uh, he's your attorney, so maybe. I'm not in control of rescheduling anything. That's up to the uh, Department of Lansing to do that. Um, Mr. Are, Walker, she's asking if you've done anything in the uh, meantime from April to now and trying to get that rescheduled. Yes, I have. I called up there and they said I have to wait till October to receive the letter from my hearing. So... We're not waiting until October. So I have spoken to Mr. Walker about the usual offer in this case of no operators on person. He said he would be willing if there was not another adjournment, Your Honor. This is a 2022 case. We've been adjourning it from June of 22 until July of 23 to try to get something happen. So are you indicating your client's going to be pleading to uh, no operator's license on person today, Mr. Flores? That's correct. Uh, I'll confirm that is the offer to you. I'm writing it up. All right, sir, it's my understanding that you're going to be pleading guilty to an ad account two of no operator's license on person 
that is a misdemeanor carrying up to 90 days in the Washtenaw County Jail and or up to $100 fine plus court costs. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Is that what you intend to do today? Yes. Please raise your right hand and be sworn. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. All right. Thank you. You may lower your hand. I'm going to go over some rights you have that you're going to be giving up by entering into this plea. Please stop me if you have any questions or if you feel like you need to speak with your attorney again, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes. You have a right to have a trial by a jury at which time you can call witnesses to speak for you. You can get an order signed by this court to require that they come to court. You have the right to see, hear, and question any and all witnesses that are called against you. And you have the right to be a witness for yourself or you could choose to remain silent. If you did choose to remain silent, the prosecutor cannot comment on that. And you have the right to be presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand those rights, sir? Yes. You understand you're going to be giving them all up and you're not going to be having a trial of any sort in this case? Yes. You understand that there's no automatic right to appeal this decision. So the decision you're making today in all likelihood is going to stick with you? Yes. Do you also understand, sir, that if you were on probation, parole, or bond at the time that this offense was committed, then you could be considered in violation of either or all of those. And the date of offense is uh, March 24, 2022. Yes. Do you also understand that if you are, uh, uh, if you're not a U.S. citizen, you could have immigration consequences? Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. And um, to the charge of no operator's license on person, how do you plead? Good. All right. Anyone promise you anything other than what's been placed on the record today? to get you to plead guilty? No. Anyone blame you in any way, shape, or form? No. Having said that, sir, um, on March 24, 2022, were you operating a motor vehicle in the vicinity of East Michigan Ave and Rossonville Road in Ypsilanti Township? Yes. And at the time you were operating that motor vehicle, uh, did you, were your license suspended or revoked? Yes. I find that there's annoying and willing admission to the violation. Okay, you um, satisfied, Mr. Barnett? <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. Thank you. That's fine, Your Honor. As to sentencing, anything anybody wants to say before I sentence Mr. Walker? <clears throat> Not from the township. Okay. Mr. Walker, anything you want to say? No. Mr. Walker, given that you are trying to work on your license and time just ran out for you, I'm going to give you a little bit of break on the fines and costs. Instead of the 375, it'll make it 275, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, sir, can that be paid today or do you need time to pay? Oh, I don't know the extent of how long could I have to pay. Uh, I, can, I can either do a payment plan for you to pay it or you can say, you know, I can have it paid in a month or whatever. Just tell me what your needs are. Um, I could do it like in a month uh, payment plan. Well, <laughs> that was interesting. I set myself up for that. Um, <laughs> you you want to do both, the month and a payment plan, or do you want to pay $50 a month? What do you want to do, sir? Uh, the month for uh, $50. Uh, okay. Yeah. On what day can you pay? Uh, I don't know. It's the... Like, can you pay on the 15th of each month? Let's see what day is it. Uh, can I do the 17th? Yes. All right. $50 per month on the 17th of each month. Are you going to be making a payment this month, or are you saying next month to start? Uh, uh, next month to start. Okay. I'm start August. Okay. And then I'll see you back here on October the... Twenty fifth, two thousand twenty three, at ten a.m. Okay. All right. Okay. You're making your payments. If you are making your fifty dollars a month, you don't have to be here. You only have to be here. You have to explain to me why you aren't making those payments. Okay. You're all set, sir. Don't want us to Thank you. Ypsilanti Township versus Gary Slappy, case number 23T00368. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. 
Assistant Public Defender Dobby Lieber on behalf of Mr. Slappy. Mr. Slappy, can you please state your name? Uh, Gary Slappy. Thank you, Mr. Slappy. You need to show your screen, please. Thank you. All right, we're here for a pretrial today. Yes, Your Honor, we are waiting the receipt of discovery in this matter. And Your Honor, uh, that's already been requested. They were requesting some video materials. Uh, they should have already received the police report. If, if they haven't, I'll forward that on. Your Honor, we are requesting a brief adjournment for the receipt of the videos. Pre-trial is adjourned to August 2nd, 2023 at 9 a.m. Bond is continued. Thank you. Thank you. Are we ready to go backwards on any of the cases, back to any of the cases that were caught earlier? Yes, Your Honor, we are ready for Sharni Rounds. Thank you. One moment, let me find it. Okay, quite a few up here, it appears. All right. The court will recall the case of uh, Ypsilanti Township versus Sharni Rounds, case number 23T00130. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. This is the public defender Dr. Lee on behalf of Ms. Rollins. Could you please state your name once again, Ms. Rollins? Sharnay Rollins. Mm -hmm. again, Ms. Rollins. All right, we are aware in the middle of a plea. Where are we with that, please? We are ready to proceed, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Rollins. Um, I think I left off by asking you if you have an ad adequate opportunity to speak with your attorney regarding um, any potential probation violation. Have you had adequate opportunity at this time? And you're still under oath, ma'am. Yes. And based on the after that conversation, are you still uh, pleading uh, guilty to the added count uh, two of operating while in Your Honor, this would be a no contest plea. Okay. Any objection from the prosecution? No, Your Honor, that's fine. Ma'am, do you understand? What's the well? First of all, Mr. Lebo, what's the uh, basis for a no contest plea? Potential civil liability, Your Honor. Thank you. Was there an accident in this case? Yes, Your Honor, and I have sent the police report both to the court and uh, and Mr. Barnett. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And um, Ms. Rollins, do you understand what no contest means, means ma'am? Yes. All right. So you're not going to say you did it. You're not going to say you didn't do it, but you're going to be treated like you did do it. Yes. One moment, please. Mr. Slappy, you have your hand raised, sir. You, you're muted, sir. Are you talking, sir? Because we can't hear you. I don't know what he's saying. We did finish Mr. Slappy's case, though, correct? Yes, Your Honor. You have a new court date, sir. I'm not sure if you're saying anything. Your voice isn't coming through. Uh, your new your new date is August 2nd at 9 o'clock. We'll see you back then. Okay, thank you. All right, sorry, Ms. Rollins. Um, give me one moment. Um, as to your no contest plea, um, I believe I have received the police report. And um, as to the charge of operating while intoxicated, how do you plead? No contest. Anyone promise you anything other than what we placed on the record to get you to plead no contest? No. We won't threaten you in any way to get you to plead no contest? No. All right, thank you. Let me uh, give me one moment to review the report here. I am in receipt of case report number uh, 22000077237 with a uh, report date of September the 23rd, 2022 at the vicinity of East Ellsworth Road in West Michigan at in Ypsilanti Township. Do the attorney stipulate to my use of this report to determine the factual basis? Yes, Your Honor. Oops, I'm sorry, I was muted. Yes, Your Honor. 
Thank you. All right. All right, there was an accident at the intersection just mentioned. There was some, Ms. Rollins was found to be at the scene at the time she was um, having complaints of potential injuries. It arose uh, during the conversation that she had had some shots. A PBT was administered and then later a blood draw showing that um, she had 0.25 for uh, alcohol level when she was the driver of one of the vehicles at the time. I find that there's a factual basis for the plea that has been willingly and knowingly made. Are you satisfied, Mr. Barnett? <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Lebo. Yes, Your Honor. Sentencing in this case will be on August the 16th, 2023 at 10 a.m. Well, we'll continue. Ma'am, you need to contact the probation department to make a keep an appointment to have a pre investigation report done. I'm going to give you a phone number. Anyone else that might be referred to the probation department needs to write this phone number down at this time. Please let me know if you have a pen, Ms. Rollins. I have a pen. 734. Okay. 483. Okay. 7336. I'm sorry, what was the last four digits? 7336. 7336. Okay. All right. Thank you. Please contact them tomorrow after 9 a.m. to schedule an opportunity to have your pre-sentence investigation report done. It will require a referral for an assessment. And that takes a while. It's a snail mail process. So you need to get started as soon as possible. Okay, ma'am? Okay. Thank you. Thank have you. A Don't want to Thank you. Any other matters that we can go backwards on calling at this time? I do not believe so, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. The court will call the case of Alexis Baker, case number 22W002473. Paul Barnett on behalf of the townships. All right, Ms. Alexis Baker, please unmute your device, turn on your screen, and state your name. Ms. Alexis Baker, please unmute your device, turn on your screen, and state your name. Alexis Baker. Thank you. We're here for a show cause. And it's for a um, equipment violation. 
I believe it's for failure to pay. Do you see? The balance of $180, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So will you be able to make payments on that? Uh, Sometime next week. All right. Do you know how much you can pay then? Or are you saying you can pay the entire balance? Uh, I could pay like a hundred or eighty, and then like the week after, pay like the remaining balance. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drain it out for a month, and you can figure out how to pay it before that month is over. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll put it over to. I'll give you a little longer than a month. August sixteenth, two thousand twenty-three. Okay. As long as you have it paid before August sixteenth, then you don't have to be here. Otherwise, I'll see you here and you can tell me why you didn't pay it. Okay, Ms. Baker? All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Hips Lane Township versus Marcus Williams, case number 23T00009. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. This is Bowie Fender Dobby Lebo on behalf of Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, please unmute. State your name, sir. Uh, my name is Marcus Williams. Thank you. We're here for um, sentencing today. Your Honor, I believe I need a breakout room in this matter. Originally, this was going to be handled by Mr. Kiriak and Ruli, who is unavailable today. Okay. Thank you. I will pass it. Were we ready to go backwards on one? I saw Mr. Flores on you. Yes, Your Honor. We are ready for Mr. Bryant. Thank you. Recalling the cases of the state of Michigan versus Jason Bryant. Case number, it's 23W002228-02S143458 and B, as well as 21S00753. Paul Barnett on behalf of Ypsilanti Township. All right, um, Mr. Jeremy Foss, student. Yeah, Jeremy Foss, student attorney on behalf of, of Mr. Bryant, requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Davi Lebeau. Permission is granted. Mr. Lebeau, still with me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we are. Um, here for the, the main issue that I have right now is with respect to the probation violation. So um, your client is entitled to have a hearing in that matter, at which time, if it is proven that he actually violates the terms of his probation, he could be subjected to the original maximum penalty. The violation is that he failed to report to probation for over one year, failed to pay his fines and costs, failed a drug and alcohol screen is ordered, the recommendation at this time, I'm hoping that you went over with him, which is to revoke his probation and sentence him to 60 days in the Washington County Jail. Um, I did not have a copy of the probation report, Your Honor. Um, so I did not actually go over that with him. I did speak to him about it. Um, so I would ask for an adjournment in this matter, if we could. All right, we're gonna schedule this matter for a violation hearing. I want to put this on a Tuesday uh, where both uh, attorneys will be present, please. Both uh, the prosecutors will be present. So give me one moment. BOP hearing will be scheduled on July 18th, 
2023 at 10.30 a.m. Along with all the other matters that will be in person. Bond in this case will be personal recognizance. We'll see you in person on July 18th, Mr. Bryant, okay? Oh, did you tell uh, did you t tell her that I finished the class and, uh, and uh, my probation officer gave me the, the okay? That will that'll be discussed at your uh, violation and probation hearing, Mr. Bryant. So um, you need to come in person on 18th at 10.30 a.m. for that hearing. I got to come in? Yes, you do, sir. Like I just said. I thought it was, what happened, what happened to the Zoom, ma'am? I'm done with this case. Oh, I'm sorry. Ypsilanti Township versus Kevin Verner, case number 23T0110. <clears throat> Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. This is Public Defender Davi Lima on behalf of Mr. Verner. Mr. Verner, could you please state your name? Kevin Verner. Good morning, Mr. Verner. Good morning, how are you? I'm pretty good. All right, we're here for sentencing today. Yes, Your Honor, I have not received the uh, report until earlier this morning and therefore have not had a chance to review it. So we'd ask for an adjournment. Any objection? I'm sorry, no objection, Your Honor. July 26, 2023 at 10 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. Bond is continued. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome, Mr. Harner. Hips Lane Township versus David Courtney Smith, case number 22T0021. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. David. Courtney Smith or someone representing him. I think he's on his own today. Yes, Your Honor, David, I'm here. Hi, could you please tell me your screen, sir? Okay. Uh, so. Good morning. Good morning. I think you're here only um, for fines and costs. You have an outstanding balance of $1,350. Uh, do you need to schedule a payment plan to get that paid off, sir? Uh, yes, Your Honor, please. How much can you pay per month? Um, 200 a month. You sure? Yes. Because you're going to be held to whatever you say you can pay. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, well, well in that case, let's do 100 a month. <laughs> All right. Because you can pay more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like if, I, if I'm able to pay it off before, then I can do that. Yes. You can okay. pay as much as you want on any, at, any, at any given time. All okay. right, defendant to pay $100 per month. On what day of the month, sir? Um, uh, we do the, the, the fifth. On the fifth of each month? Yes. Beginning in August? Yes. All right. I'll see you back here on October. We'll see you on October the 11th. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. If you uh, are paying $100 per month, you don't have to be here. You only have to be here if you need to explain to me why you aren't paying. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Th thank you.
Uh, Ypsilanti Township versus Arnold Daniel, 22W002890. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Dodge Lee on behalf of Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel, could you please unmute and state your name? Arnold Daniel, please unmute, state your name. Please state your name, sir. Um, we're not getting any sound from Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel, we're going to put you into the waiting room and then we'll bring you back and hopefully we can hear you, okay? While we do that, Ms. Funk, did you reach your... Okay. Mr. Daniels, I'm mute now and try for me. How you doing? I'm okay, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, so please state your name, sir. Arnold Daniel. Thank you. All right, Mr. Daniel is here because uh, he was on not reporting probation under a deferred and he's supposed to be paying restitution. I believe it's the reason we're here. Yes, yep. Your Honor, looking at GIS, it appears to have been paid off. Is anyone here from probation? Good morning, Ms. Strong. Is Mr. Daniel on set? Are we on Arnold Daniel? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Yes, Arnold Daniel, yes. Yes, it looks like as of the 23rd of June. Okay. Restitution and everything is done, is that correct? Yes. Well, 63. Okay. All right. Given that, Mr. Burnett? <clears throat> then we would move for a dismissal under the prosecutor's deferred. All right. This case is now dismissed, Mr. Daniel. Thank you for taking care of everything. You're all set. Yep. Yep. It's Township versus Hamid from 22T00717. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Dodge Lee on behalf of Mr. Cromwell. Mr. Cromwell, could you please state your name? Hamid Cromwell. Thank you. We're here for sentencing today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Have you had an opportunity to review the prison investigation report with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Any questions, deletions, or uh, to be made to it? No, Your Honor. We were asking the court to accept the recommendation in this matter. Thank you. Anything from the township? Your Honor, I've also reviewed the report and recommendation. I support the recommendation. Thank you. Mr. Cromwell, is there anything you would like to say, sir? No, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Um, well, it appears that you're taking this seriously. You start to get some stuff done on your own before we got to this point. Apparently, that was uh, impressive for the probation department. Um, you've gotten quite a bit uh, done. Uh, you're already completed the discovery group, and you're attending your, your some twelve step meetings. It seems like you understand the severity of this. Absolutely. So, I hope yeah. you continue to do so, sir. I'm going to follow the recommendation of the probation department, okay? You are sentenced to 93 days in the Washington County Jail, credit for one day served. The balance of that is suspended. So if you do everything you're supposed to do, then you um, don't have to do any additional jail time. Um, $40, I'm sorry, 40 hours of community service, 12 months on probation, fines and court costs in this particular case uh, for a total of $695, $30 per month probation oversight fee, you would attend the Mad Victim Impact Panel within 45 days of today's date and provide our certificate of completion to the probation department. You would report to probation on a monthly basis online, okay? 
and meet with probation when and where directed. You to complete the ARM Alcohol Awareness and Highway Safety Program. No use of possession of alcohol, marijuana, illegal drugs, or any other drug paraphernalia. No use of possession of any firearms, firearm components, or any other dangerous weapons. You to drug and alcohol test two times per month and any other times as ordered by the court, probation, or police. You to attend 12-step meetings two times per week in person and provide proof of compliance. We'll do a review in this case on October the 4th. 2023 at 10 a.m. You need to reach back out to the probation department so that you can sign your probation contract. You have their phone number, sir? Is it the 483-7336? Yeah. Do I have to do it by 1 p.m. today or after 1 p.m.? After 1 p.m. or try after 9 o'clock tomorrow, actually. Okay, sir? So try at 9 a.m.? Um, as far as my bond restriction, if I have to drop tomorrow, do I still go? Because my number hasn't yes. been called yet. So just yes, go about that. And, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Good luck to you, Mr. Cromwell. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You too. Probably the case of Ipsen Lane Township versus Dolores Funk, case number 23W002198. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Joseph Wagner on behalf of Dolores Funk. Sorry, Your Honor, all my all my equipment's malfunctioned this morning. Mm -hmm. Having to appear on phone by... All right. Thank you. All right, we're here for an arraignment. Well, the arraignment was already conducted. We're here for a pretrial on this particular case. Right. I was called. I, I entered an appearance late last week. I got a call on Monday saying I needed to get a substitution filed, and I figured this case was going to be adjourned this morning. I've been out of town. I walked in. None of my equipment's worked. My client's on the other phone. She's and, here. Uh, She's been here all the morning, so... Uh... I, I, I apologize to both you and her and I request the very shortest adjournment possible so I can have an opportunity to discuss this with Mr. Barnett and I can complete the substitution requirement and get whatever possible discovery that is out. <clears throat> no objection to the adjournment, Your Honor. July 26, 2023 at 9 a.m. Hopefully you can uh, get everything you need to get done uh, done by then. Uh, your client is revoked, so I don't know that you can start some process to get her license back or how you how the two of you want to work that out. But I figured you should know. Okay? Thank you very much. Sir. Appreciate You're welcome. it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Take care. Um, bye. Bye. All right. Uh, we had a ten o'clock. Snyder, you mean Marcus Williams? No, with Marcus Williams. Well, you have them, and also a ticket to Marcus Schneider that you have okay. first. All right, the court will call the case of Marcus Snyder, 23W00550. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Emma Kluge, student attorney on behalf of Mr. Snyder and requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Dobby Lebo. Permission is granted. Mr. Snyder, can you please state your name? Marcus Snyder. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Snyder. Good morning. All um, right. Uh, we're here for a pretrial. Yes, Your Honor, in this um, matter, we'd be asking for an adjournment. Mr. Your office talked to Mr. Snyder, and he said that um, he's talked to the Secretary of State and to make a, um, an appointment for a hearing. Um, and they told him, this was in January, and he, they told him it would take at least six more months before he could reschedule. So we want to just adjourn so he continue to work on getting his license. So you're saying he called in January and at this point he eligible to start that process? That's correct, Your Honor. I'm going to do one more adjournment. He needs to have some proof that the process is on the way and the timing of that. If it's going to be um, another six months, we, we won't be waiting that time period, just so you know.
I'll schedule this matter for August the 23rd, 2023, at 9 a.m. Bonnie Thank continues. you. You're welcome. Um, what are we doing on the Marcus Williams matter? I'm sorry? Uh, not you, Mr. Snyder. You're all set. We'll see you back here on August the 23rd. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. You're welcome. Bye-bye. What are we doing on the Marcus Williams matter? Your Honor, we would be asking the court to accept the recommendation in that matter. Okay. All right. The court will call the case of Ypsilanti Township versus Marcus Williams, case number 23-T-00009. Mr. Holmes, can you please state your name for the record? Marcus Williams. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Davi Leba on behalf of Mr. Williams. Thank you. All right, you had an opportunity to review the pre-sentence investigation report with your client and you are, have no corrections or additions or deletions and you want me to follow the recommendation? That is correct, Your Honor. Anything from the people? Uh, no, Your Honor. Anything you want to say, Mr. Williams? No, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Williams, I am going to follow the recommendation. This is a very interesting situation, Mr. Williams. You're lucky um, that no one got hurt more uh, seriously in this case. Right. No follow up recommendations. Um, is the sentence of this court that you serve uh, 93 days in the Washington County Jail credit for the. Um, Oh, wait, 90 days in the Washington County Jail, no credit at this time. The balance is of that the entire time is suspended. You're on probation for six months. You'll be eligible uh, for early discharge after you complete half of that time, sir. Fines and court costs in this case for a total of $475. Restitution to be determined within 60 days. Meet with probation when and where directed, including any and all home visits. Make earnest efforts to maintain legitimate employment. Complete the ABR level two, a driver rehab program, no assaultive or threatening behavior towards anyone. No, um, you must submit to pay and be responsible for random drug and alcohol tests as requested by the probation department. No use of possession of alcohol, marijuana, illegal drugs, or other drug, drug paraphernalia. No use for possession of firearms, firearm components, ammunition, or other dangerous weapons. And I'm hoping you wrote down the phone number for the probation department earlier. I have it from last time. Contact him and uh, have them go to your probation contract and sign it, okay? Okay, when should I contact them? I couldn't hear you. After nine o'clock tomorrow, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, the uh, court will call the case of uh, Ypsilanti Township versus Anthony Publisky, case number 23T10844. Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Good morning, Your Honor. Jason Blankenship on behalf of Mr. Pobliski. Good morning. And uh, I know Mr. Pobliski is here somewhere, or he was in the waiting room. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Anthony Pobliski. Oh. Thank you, sir. All right, we have a lengthy hearing on this matter, and I was in order to have the trails moved. Could the parties please look advice the court of where we are with this? So, Your Honor, my understanding, Mr. Gooden, you can jump in if, if I'm to be corrected, but the uh, the trail was, in fact, moved as outlined by the court and it has maintained, remained in that location as directed by the court. Um, so there's no issue with respect to that. The neighboring uh, property holders are still not happy with the noise level. So I'm, I'm just reporting that to the court uh, to take that into consideration. Uh, I have no additional information. Mike, if you have anything else, you can chime in. Uh, I did talk to the uh, complainant next door to the property. And last time we spoke, uh, they were uh, uh, ex exceeding uh, what was set aside by the court. But the I guess the father came in and 
taped off the area so that the kids didn't go any further than the judge uh, sit. And that's all I know at this point. So, um, can I see counsel? Thank you, Mr. Good. Can I see counsel on the breakout room? Absolutely, Your Honor. 